wearing. I mean, you know, if a lady puts time into her outfit and she selected a necklace, like Julia was wearing a necklace the other day and it was two, oh, two circles, right? One was smaller than the other. And there was a mother daughter or really a mother child uh, mm -hmm. necklace. So she bought one for Zoe. And so I asked about it and said it was pretty. And, you know, I heard the story about it and Julie said she bought one for Zoe and she's waiting to give it to Zoe as a gift. And Zoe's lifting, listening outside her door right <laughs> now. So she's going to know she's getting a necklace. <laughs> right. But I mean, that, that's the type of thing yeah. you can, but the other thing yes. is the, from a professional perspective, show gratitude towards your past clients, your centers of influence. That is going to be the law. If there is an asset that you build out of your business, ultimately it's your centers of influence and your past clients, because those are the people that will you. So like, as you do business, it's not just past clients. It's also people, you know, from getting, and we teach you centers of influence and past client uh, marketing um, in our coaching program. That's part of premier well, coaching. We have a 12 month program. Yeah. We have a 12 month, what you should be doing every day, every week, every month program that's part of the Premier Coaching Program that teaches you everything you possibly want to know for buy referral, centers of influence uh, type business. Uh, so that specific widget, one of the keys is to show overt gratitude towards other people. Ideally and, in person or by the phone. Right. But, you know, in some cases it's okay to send a handwritten greeting card is nice. But saying thank you and noticing those things. And I, you know, I can remember specific things where I kind of just did it in passing. I can remember Cindy, whose uh, husband's wake we went to. I remember running into her in school one day and I said something like, I really like your new haircut or just something little like that, you know? And she sent me a text later that day and she said, I, I want to thank you for saying that because until you said that to me and made me feel really good, I was having the world's crappiest day. Yeah. That's just, my, it was one sentence. But yeah. that, but that's the point. And yeah. so somewhere, and again, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a philosophical person, but I'm certainly not a woo woo person, certainly. right? Yeah. But there's something that exists on the plane of gratitude that has something to do with being present that definitely has a tie to spirituality. Agreed. There's something that operates on that wavelength that when you're showing gratitude, it doesn't even work the opposite way, right? So if you're receiving the gratitude, it, does, it doesn't have the same effect on you mentally and emotionally versus if you're the one giving the gratitude. So that's the thing that's really kind of fascinating. And I think it's because giving gratitude is more humbling, which mm -hmm. forces your ego to shut the hell up. Right. And you had to be proactive about that. You yep. had to do your own hard reset. So. And you have to set your ego aside mm -hmm. and worry about that you might be rejected or they're going to question your motivation for giving them gratitude. Guys, forget all that. And uh, you can practice with strangers. That's always fun. But again, <laughs> yeah. the, the real secret science, the Jedi uh, aspect of this is definitely to be doing the showing of gratitude towards your centers of influence and past clients. And hey, if you want to get started and you want to show some gratitude, <laughs> hop on over to iTunes and give Julie and I in this podcast a five-star uh, rating. We would certainly appreciate that show of gratitude in the sincerest, deepest, heartfelt of ways. Indeed. Okay, so point number three, and then we might wrap. We'll see how it goes. Point number three, spending too much time, this is one of my favorite ones, Getting ready to get started, or you might say getting ready to get started to someday possibly feel like taking action if the sun is shining and you feel right about it. Hold on, I need on the right side of the bed. I need another dentist.